Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.3, number 49, and we're asked to find this number, right? It looks kind of funky, but that's a number. I'm going to rewrite this as two times log of 100 to the negative 3. All right, and then let's go ahead, and I'm just going to do some scratch work over here. So I'm going to I'm going to save the two until later, and right now I just want to focus on the log term. So we have log of 100, oops, ah, let me rewrite that, of 100 to the negative 3. All right, now whenever there's no base given, we're going to assume this is base 10. And that works out great because if you look at my argument here, this is also base 10. So let's rewrite this. I have log base 10. Now instead of 100, ooh, that was fun. Instead of 100, I'm going to rewrite that as 10 squared. All right, and keep in mind, I still have that negative 3 exponent there. Now when you have a power raised to a power, you're going to multiply exponents. So I'm looking at log base 10, and then I have 10. Well, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And whenever the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is the exponent. Because if we think about this, a logarithm is always an exponent. So what exponent do I need on 10 to get it to be 10 to the negative 6? I quite literally need a negative 6. So anytime the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is that exponent. So this expression is negative 6. And I'm almost done, but don't forget, I'm going to change colors over here, right? I had that 2, that multiplier of 2 out here. So really this becomes 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12. And that's the solution to this one. All right, thanks so much. Bye.